Welcome to NFT Traders Club. My name is OX Kennedy, of course, and my co-host Chris Coffey wasn't able to make it today. Of course, he's at a FinCon, they call it, this whole week, so he won't be here this week. Uh, rumor is that he's just at a MLM scam. You know, he's currently just hatching the latest uh, pyramid scheme as I speak. <laughs> yeah, these jokes are not as funny unless he's here so I can roast him in his face. So I'll make sure to roast him in his face when he gets back next week. But but this show is brought to you by Ninja Alerts, of course. Ninja Alerts is a web and phone app that you get a notification to your phone whenever your friend or your favorite whale or influencer buys, sells, or mints an NFT. You get that ping right to your phone instantly. So make sure to visit NinjaAlerts.com. We are also doing a giveaway, though. Ninja Alerts uh, giveaway for... Let me put it in the screen as I speak right now. We are doing a six-month subscription giveaway, so all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and uh, visit ninjaalerts.com slash giveaway to enter. Uh, subscribe, like this video, just to show the algorithms that you do enjoy this kind of content. Uh, and let's start the show, okay? So today we may have a special guest. Uh, uh, hopefully it shows up. <laughs> we do have a special guest today, I'm hoping. Uh, but in the meantime, let's start the show. Now, I'm not going to talk about youths anymore, bro. Uh, we've talked about youths last week, the week before, the week before, the week before. We've been talking about youths for so long. But I will mention that the floor price of youths is still holding up at about 160 so, so it's good. But no more youths. No, no more youths. No mas. Let me um, go ahead and talk about what's currently dropping right now as I speak. Let me post it up on the screen. Okay, let me change the thing this way. There we go. Bricks. Bricks is dropping right now. Uh, Bricks is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. I, I'm. I'm just reading my. Uh, my guest. He's. <laughs> he thought something else. He's just sending messages. I'm speaking right now. Uh, nah, no bueno. But Bricks is dropping right now. It's currently, the mint price is about 0.15. Now, we talked about Bricks, like, uh, I mean, you can see the video right here. I'll probably play the video. Uh, we talked about Bricks a little while ago. Bricks, they had an innovative way to raise money and give you a allow list. Now, they had a thing where if you buy a shirt, you get automatically put into the allow list. So you buy the merch, you got in, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's a good way to raise funds and support the project now there are mints right now uh, it's about 10k of them at 0.15 me personally i thought that price was way too high it's gonna be on the ledger market so um we're gonna have to talk about that in a little bit so we do have our guest is gonna show up today yes <laughs> yes our guest is gonna show up today I, I'm, I'm gonna get to him in a minute so uh let's just review what bricks is doing right now as you can see uh let's go to ninja alert see if anybody is minting this it dropped about an hour ago as you can see jj has minted this um let's change it to uh our chart so pretty much a few influencers are minting this. Let's go check the contract. This is um, Ninja Alerts, by the way. When you're part of Ninja Alerts, you get to see the trends what um, influencers are minting. And as you already know, JJ is a big friend of the show. He's been here multiple times. When he buys something, it means a lot to the to the platform. So let's see how it's doing. So the mint price. Oh man, <laughs> the volume man looking so bueno, bro. The volume is not looking so bueno. So uh, it's not doing well so far, but I think this is the allow list mints right now. It's, the, it's currently the allow list mints. So yeah, uh, so kind of saw that coming. I, I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, that's zero volume so far, but it launched about an hour ago. So they should have more volume than that or more uh, higher offer. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Um Let's let's go back. What else is minting right now is Jadu AVAs. Jadu AVAs is also minting. The price is about 0 0.0666, and I believe there's 11,000 of them. It just started minting today at about 11 a.m., I think. So if we look on Ninja, we'll see who else is minting them. Uh, just a few whales. It's not looking good for these mints. It's really not looking good. But the floor price, oh, man. Okay, Jadu's doing very well. They are currently hosting a space, as you can see on Twitter. They are doing well. They're doing very well. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> but it's not um, it's not minted out yet. I think this might just be the allow list mints. Uh, in a minute, I'm at, I am going to bring my 
my guest up here. He's he's waiting right now. So uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and talk about what's going on in the NFT space right now. Uh, as you can see, Jadu is doing well. Not too bad. 45 ETH volume so far is doing quite well. Quite, quite, quite well. <laughs> Uh, give him that. I don't know how it's gonna do when it all mints out. Um, price probably won't mint, uh, won't stay at 0.17. Obviously, when it goes public, but uh, right now, whoever minted this is winning currently. That's 0.066 mint. That's about uh, almost a 3x. That's a 2x off the bat. Almost 3x floor, uh, which is pretty really really good. Okay, so that's the two things that are minting right now that we we're watching on the mint calendar today. Uh, let me go ahead and x these out and uh, x out Jadu. So let me put on my headphones. So we do have a special guest from Gutter's very own coming up soon. Uh, this is I met him. I'm putting on my headphones right now. I met him in in LA. Hold on. I don't think uh, you can't really hear it. Let me rechange that and put it so the volume comes on. Let's see if I could get that going. Uh, I have to use, no, not that one. Entire screen, let's see. Okay, no. Break tabs. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Share volume. All right, here we go. Okay, so now you can hear the volume of it. So, time. let's get it. You know the vibes. All right. It's, it's chronic gutter chronic, of course. Gutter cat gang gang, gang in the building. Of course. The world one slice at a time. Let's get it. As this is what uh, I first met him in in New York City, giving out pizzas, doing philanthropy. I really enjoyed that. He also went around um, LA giving out pizzas. So I'm going to have to bring him up, the man himself. Without further ado, uh, here comes gutter chronic to the show, everybody. Hold on. Let me get my round of applause going. <laughs> How are you, brother? Appreciate gang, you gang, for having gang, me. Gang, gang, <laughs> gang, gang, gang. Appreciate being here, man. Thank you. Welcome to the show, Chronic. It's a, it's a you... pleasure, brother. You're running a great show, man. I'm, I'm really excited, man, to be a part of this, man, and share a little bit of my NFC journey. Oh yes, welcome to the show. I really appreciated the what you've been doing with the philanthropy work. I've seen you just walking around, just handing out pizzas and stuff, man. That's pretty cool, you know. In this space, a lot of people make money and just want to hold on to it. But I really enjoy seeing people give. That's a big, a big thing that stands out to me. People that actually give, and you do give, as we can see on here. Uh, pretty. Um, who, what came up? Who came up with the idea for this? This was Pizza Things, right? Yeah. So the Pizza Things we had we had done a collab uh, for New York because we were in for uh, NFT NYC for the Gutter Cat Gang. Uh, he had seen my profile before, uh, usually in Los Angeles. I try to do that at least you know once or twice three times um you know what i mean a year and, and go to the uh the mission over there in los angeles to uh skid row try to give back to the less fortunate and uh you know what i mean like i i'm you know a pretty successful you know rap artist and and web3 guy but you know to to remember where you came from and, and remember struggles that you know people still go through every day uh you got to humble yourself and and remember where you came from so I feel like that's the aspect a lot of, you know, artists and people that do become successful forget about and, and let it, um, you know, fade into the wind instead of making it like a pillar to, to you know, your 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 brand or, or your character. So I feel like that's one big aspect uh, I bring to uh, just the world, man, not even a community, not anything, just to be able to give back and use my platform to uh, to make a change, man. I feel like that's a big aspect no matter what you're doing in life nice nice i respect that uh tell me how did you get into nfts like uh, what was your journey into the nft space so as an artist i came into the nft space around september october this past year uh kind of when covid was was really uh ramped up and, and a lot of the music artists couldn't really book anything so i was like you know i, I got to kind of make a pivot in my my business venture let me you know, I was really big on Gary V. I still am. Um, I was watching, you know, his YouTube videos at the time where he was talking about Pokemon, sports cards, and then it was, <laughs> you know, garage sales, and then it was, you know, the NFTs. And I'm like, okay, well, let, let's see. And I started to do research, and I went down the rabbit hole of, of like eight or nine hours one night on YouTube of just, you know, looking up the blockchain, searching up, you know, what is, you know, Bored Ape, what is CryptoPunks, what, what are all these you know, communities and what they represent and what value they had. And I started from there and uh, I was lucky 
to uh, get my first NFT as, as like a promo to help a company out. And then from there, use that NFT to, you know, leverage my way, work, uh, move pieces around to be able to secure a, uh, a gutter cat gang in January. And I've been in that community since January. Luckily, um, you know, a lot of people stay in the space for um, a year longer before they find that, you know, community or project that they feel comfortable with, that they want to build with, that they see, you know, I'm home. And I was lucky mm-hmm. to, to find that within two or three months in the NFT space with the Gutter Cat Gang. Um, just this past week, too, I was able to uh, secure a plot, too, for future metaverse, uh, you know, stuff for the for the other side, which is a, a BAYC plot. So with, you know, in under mm-hmm. a year to be able to secure, in my opinion, two of the best communities and blue chips in the NFT space with the board Ape and the Gutter Cat Gang community, I feel like uh, you know, my mission to, to be successful in this space I feel like it is on the way, but it's just, in my opinion, about getting into those communities that you see the upside and utility and what the community brings. So I was very lucky to to find that really fast uh, from October to now. Oh, oh, nice. Hold on. I got to give a... Uh, air hold to the gutter cat gang of force gang gang is in the building man uh let's um move on the the topic of this show is ip rights now i could play a video real quick of you actually you have a liquor brand right now right like let me post it up real quick uh let's see if i can find it on here yes can you hear me Oh, I think he's he's losing service right now. So I was gonna talk about his new, the new liquor brand that he has going on right now, using the the gutter IP. Now IP is a big thing that we talk about on this show because again, when uh, after the Moonbirds, after they made it CCO, it kind of flared up this conversation about IP usage. Now for me personally, I got into the space because of the IP. I used to be um, having to buy the rights to use a logo, like buy the whole copyright to use a logo for whatever, whatever business I was creating at the time before NFTs. So when I found out you could just own the rights to use the NFT as whatever you want, that kind of drew me into the NFT space. But now there's been a a, a back and forth about ip usage now gutter chronic is using the gutter ip uh that's a, a few things that has the gutter ip in it like the gutter mud uses gutter ip uh gutter cats are in weed they're in liquor now they're in merch obviously there's in a few things now i do want to get his comments on this but i think he is currently driving right now so his internet is a little shaky um He's from the West Coast. I, he might have thought this was going to be on the West Coast, 1 p.m. West Coast time when, you know, you know, it's 1 p.m. East Coast time. So we're just going to wait till he gets better connection so he can speak a little bit more about this uh, liquor brand. Uh, in the meantime, we could just um, just check out the video of him creating, uh, putting these patches on there. Uh, I hope the audio is going through as I'm speaking right now. And shout out to Risky, he loves some chronic. <laughs> we all do. We all love us some chronic. So that's the dog that he displayed on his um on the image earlier when he had service. Uh let me see if I can find more videos to show you guys about this. Let's see. Um uh, as you can see, gutters finest. Las Vegas 2022. So as you can see, he's using the gutter IP to create this um, on liquor brands. I want to see more videos of it. Nice. This is uh, IP usage. This is the importance of IP rights in the NFT space, especially when it comes to 10K projects. That's not, it's like, it's like a company, really. It's not, I'm not talking about the artist. Now, like when it's a hand drawn art, yeah, the artist keeps all the rights, basically, uh, and a percentage royalties and all that. But I'm talking more about the, the company aspect where an uh, artist is commissioned to create art for a 10K project. Uh, let me see if I can find. If I could find, I don't know why this thing does this. It doesn't let me, let's see, let me go here, go to the media and find more, more images for you guys. Uh, it's, a, it's a bunch of stuff going on on his, on his Twitter. 
Uh, if I could find the other ones, I think I saw a recent video of him stamping it in on these these liquor brands, but I can't. Hold on. Hello. You hey, bro. Hey, brother. I'm here now. Oh, perfect, perfect. Hey, you sound so much better, man. Right. Air horn. <laughs> you sound so much better. <laughs> Welcome back, man. Yeah, so I was just talking about uh, the li gutter's finest liquor. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that, how that came about? Yeah, so basically, I when I got my OG dog, I immediately realized, you know, if I want a thing on it, I, I had to have an idea. So my partner and I, Brian, man, uh, he's out of Malibu. You know, with this IP, we do something really huge. So we took the dog. He had some that he knew in this space through through alcohol brands. So I, you know, came up with him. We had a couple other names. We thought about being able to implement the, the IP of alcohol and being the first Web3 alcohol brand to push out, you know, a blue chip community for them and, and be fully funded and, and have California licenses are really but a huge, in my Opinion feet in the Web3 space to be able to, to use that kind of. We started a month and a half ago. Uh, we have full production. We just labeled about this past week for GutterCon. So that'll oh, be nice. Good for everybody uh, for GutterCon. Uh, uh, to bring this kind of utility and be able to use this, this IP on it. You know, it could be alcohol, it could be, you know, a million different things, a clothing line, whatever. For you, it depends too on the trade of the IP. Too. You can see that you know the dog that we have is smoking jacket on and kind of that you know with the with the whiskey in his hand and and, and a cigar like a you know, uh, whiskey type a cigar room vibe with that with those traits. So we were able to it went well together. So being able to implement the traits along with whatever project and implementing it, on making sure both of those kind of coexist and go and blend together my opinion as well oh nice so uh we do have a question is that rum or is it just whiskey so we have whiskey gin and vodka so the whiskey's right there oh wow the you got all three. Oh yeah so, so the whiskey and the the vodka is going to be for gutter con so we have 60 total bottles so whoever gets mm. them you know that that'll be the first batch. So you know what I mean. There, there won't be another one. And each, each different uh, set, bring them by small batch uh, whiskey, teas, and and uh, vodkas because they're from the distillery. So they are smaller batch. So they are basically more valuable than uh, you know a regular run of, of vodka or whiskey. Uh, uh, from the small batch, you know, more valuable and, and sought after in that kind of community so we wanted to make sure that you know down to the alcohol just like the ip it was you know top shelf this community and just something cool man even if you don't drink to just put it on yourself as a collectible of some just something uh you know what i mean that we can the gutter cat gang in the community just even more Gang, gang, man. So uh, that dog you said that is being used, that's your partner's dog or that's your dog no, that's that my, you bought that's my into dog. the gutter? So that's my dog that oh. I had gotten into the gutter in January. We had gotten this one as well, and then and he had gotten two more about a week and a half with a jacket. So, mm. so we're putting all of our, our company together now, and we're going to be mm. our gutter's finest dog as well an actual marketplace a website all of our assets the building as a company uh for down the road too because web three this is a very utility um especially with california license so we can we want with this so we're definitely you know seeing our t's and dotting our eyes and make sure you know we do this the right so, um, was your partner or either of you into the alcohol, the liquor business before this? And if not, like, what was the process to get that license? Because I hear it's pretty tough to get that. Can you? 
Oh, uh, he's kind of <laughs> he cut off again. <laughs> it looks like he's low on service again. So yeah, that's just just what's going on today. <laughs> he kind of cut off, but yeah, it does look pretty cool, man. I do have more questions for him about this because again, uh, to have a whole liquor brand, official liquor brand, is not easy at all like <laughs> to get the license of it for all this so i just want to know what processes it kind of went through to to have all this done it does look pretty cool i thought it was just one i thought it was just whiskey at first but it has whiskey gin and vodka all three like the holy trinity <laughs> it, has the, it literally has the holy trinity so um yeah i can't wait to hear more of what he has to say he is um currently out of it's just been this week, man. I, I guess I was kind of have technical difficulties the last couple of, but last end of last week and this week it seems. But yeah, the show must go on. So I do have more questions to him about the, the usage and all these, uh, all these things they they plan and the plans for GutterCon. Uh, so I do have to reserve for him to get back so I can ask these things because again his internet is pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much off. <laughs> His internet is off uh, at this point. So uh, we just have to wait till he gets back. If he gets back, uh, we just have to keep going. So in the meantime, though, until he gets back, let's go ahead and um, let me exit this real quick. Let me go ahead and uh, and let's see. Go to Ninja Alerts real quick uh, until he gets back. Just to show some ninja alerts. Got to show ninja's love, of course. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel uh, for more uh, content. Uh, he's back. <laughs> he's back. Uh, are you good? Yeah, bro. The connection's wild here in Malibu. Right? Oh, you're in Malibu? Oh, I'm in the mountains man. Up here. Yeah, so... so oh, uh, there's no connections up there? Ah, uh, yeah, there's no connection in Malibu, bro. <laughs> yeah, <Don't laughs> not at all. No worries, but yeah, no. Uh, we just realized, you, you know what I mean, being, being able to add those assets to the company long term, you know, what to use IP on an IRL product, whether you have a clothing line, and uh, you want to do it in your music video, alcohol, your cannabis line, whatever you want to do to be able to implement those, those IP and make sure the trade match up it's one of the biggest aspects and and realizing you know what i mean with ip2 you want to do that that with the last and be around and you know what i mean appreciate what, what you're doing and how you're implementing ip and i feel like this is a def definitely big for it so i'm excited for that yes uh me too i did have some questions how did the the liquor brand go uh, how did you guys end up getting the license where was you or your partner part of the liquor industry beforehand because i hear that getting those licenses is pretty tough or difficult isn't it oh it's very difficult luckily my partner was captain and, and his good friend friend from this distillery in missouri for years uh even after uh college so he's been he had flown out to, to do a taste testing with us, and and we have the product, and we we kind of all came together. Uh, John, John uh, is himself the licensing uh, through here and get it with California too, and submit that the paper. Um, luckily, my partner Brian Manful was able to. Uh, I could probably bring him up another one uh, soon, but he was the one that handled all the aspects in the in the license things out of that i was mm. more or less pushing it for our inner and now we're get, getting it into actually a store in woodland hills california for our store to be able oh, really? to sell it in california at an actual uh wine store so that we're actually closing that uh within a week or so john the the guy who was the one that connected us and uh it was another one of my partner's friends and and out to where uh our ip and our product is is you know what i mean being able to be used by and then they're seeing you know the value it is because it's it's one, one thing to have an alcohol um and a liquor stuff to the shelf and if you're able to to revamp or bring some new eyes and, and attention to you know, that, that's going to bring more buyers 
works for you. So it was very uh, reciprocated all the way around and everyone was excited what we're building with the distillery, um, with our license uh, that John introduced me and then there's finest. So it's, it is definitely a, a, a project with the, with the paperwork and going to let, let my, my partner talk about that. Cause that was for sure. So he had to handle that. Yeah. Well, to sell mm-hmm. in a state, apparently uh, you need to make sure that it's properly. Absolutely. Mm, yeah, I, I see that. It is, <laughs> it is a very complicated process, man. Uh, so when you're uh, going to GutterCon, like, what are you guys collabing with the gutters? Like, who gets these, man? How do how does the gang get their hands on these whiskeys and run and, and vodkas and gin? So I'll be able to to do it. So the first year, I'm going to do a tweet that are like being able to find me and come come up to me mm-hmm. are going to be able to back later on after got on to this location and be able to do it. Uh, oh, uh, the, like a back alley type really cool thing or, <laughs> or what? Able to bring that and then and to work. No, no, no! Like, like at hell, to be gutter, but, but uh, being able to come, <laughs> care of them and come in and, and uh, receive it as like a donation. You know, we're gonna bless the people uh, with that just run. So being able to give this community, we'll decide on who who wants it, who you know wants the bottle. Yeah, your your service is going in and out. I think you we just lost them again. Yeah, we we just lost them again. And yeah, <laughs> we just just lost the the guest again. Let's just go back to to Ninja Alerts again. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Ninja Alerts and visit ninjaalerts.com slash giveaway for your chance to win a six months license or a six month subscription to Gutter. Um, that's a Gutter <laughs> to, to Ninja Alerts. <laughs> uh, that's about a, a $450 value. Again, you could track your, your favorite friend, influencer, or well whenever they mint, sell, or buy anything. And you get so you get a ping notification right to your phone. And as we can check, um, Ninja Alerts right now. Uh, as you can notice, it's dark mode. If you've been a, a friend of the show for a while, you know Chris usually shows uh, ninja alerts, and he's always using white mode. I don't know. I think he's a serial killer or something. <laughs> he's always on light mode. But check out the prettiness of the dark mode, man. Dark mode works out, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah. Um, hold on. I'm moving my things around. So, as you can see, Bricks is pretty much being minted right now for by more people. I thought it was going to die. Uh, it's okay. The floor price kind of moved, but the volume is still pretty much nothing. Uh, as you can see, zero volume. It's been probably two hours now. Uh, that's no good. Looks like they're probably going to have to drop the price or cut the supply. Well, both probably. Drop the price and cut the supply. Yeah, I'm just going on a tangent here until our guest pretty much gets it together. Uh, he kind of thought this was uh, West Coast time. He's back. <laughs> Hey, Chronic, welcome back. <laughs> Are you still driving or did you stop when you Bro, got I'm getting, I'm getting rugged for the life. And- yeah, <laughs> yes, you are. For the life of both of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot. You. It sounds clear now. Did you stop? Because I thought you was driving at one point. Yeah, I just pulled over now. Yeah, like I was trying to drive through the canyon at the same time, but we're yeah that's uh that's really i've been through those canyons plenty of times man service is no <laughs> it doesn't reach up there but um not a chance you're yeah so you was talking about somebody meeting you in the back alley to give you give them the the liquor at gutter con now we're gonna probably do a din out by Gunness and we'll go out somewhere for some drinks and, and be able to give those to the, the 60 and we're going to give them something so we know at the we tweet out if you have 
particularly when you come into the event after GutterCon. So it's a three-day event, so we're going to set something for like. So we're, we're going to get the uh, the details, and we'll be able to tweet it out. Probably that mm-hmm. same. Uh, we're going to meet, and whoever wants to be able to come grab. Okay, cool. So you can generally tell the type of man somebody is by the type of liquor they gravitate towards. What well, what kind of a man are you, Chronic? Are you a whiskey person, a vodka person, or a gin person? Can you, to be honest, you I'm me? a cognac person, but I, I whiskey probably. Uh, oh, yak. Uh, okay, just, yak. Yeah, the the yak is my yeah. Well, Henny, you know, I, I definitely, I feel like the whiskey too, it, it just had a small batch. Uh, it was really just, just learning, learning a lot. It, it, you, you, when you take, taste, you know, commercial whiskey, it's very different from small batch people or, or, or whiskey. It, it really tastes differently and everything. So to be able, you know what I mean? Be able to, and then like a blue chip for instance and, and you know what I mean being able to to see the difference from what the distiller trying to you know a process of filling these with with corn instead of uh you know usually wheat alcohols so it's a different process uh and it's just, just a really cool, cool to learn that aspect for me I'd be leaning towards the whiskey right now but uh mm-hmm. oh, we'll, we'll get whiskey, you a bottle of that me too you're gonna want to try brother oh yes i gotta i gotta try well, i'm a whiskey man myself i'm not a big fan of vodka i've been a whiskey man for a while i stopped drinking vodka since college bro you know in, in college you got the cheap it was dubra when i went to school we had big big jugs of dubra after that <laughs> yeah yeah i was done we was making they called it jungle juice back then where you just mix everything in and just get blacked out instantly <laughs> But so yeah. after after that, one big Gatorade bucket. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ever since then, I just I never liked vodka because uh, oh man. So now I'm more of a whiskey person. I never got into gin though. I I don't know why. I just never. I don't think I tried many gin. But I should get get a little bit more into gin. But yeah, it's cool to know you're more of a whiskey person. I do I, have I, a few. I, I was um, able to, but- what do you think? Like, how do you feel about gin? I, I, I definitely like better option too to, to have on our, our resume. Right now to start, we wanted to start with alcohols. Uh, we want to be able to mm-hmm. bring in like tequila made by like Christmas. So we're just trying to be able to get our feet wet. We want vodka and what is going to to sell in our opinion already we see the demand for, for that um more than the gym and that's small batch as well but to be able to have um you know what i mean in a diversity of you know i've applied to and each one of our alcohols will uh after be able to do with the community the votes for if they want to you know have their uh g on a they'll be able to submit that to us for us to, to choose add on to a future bottle um that's why you know my partner as well secured the to put on on every hall um, um a different ip uh so that's also something really cool that we're uh, we're gonna do for the community and us uh which um what is the bird gang which one go, gets the bird gang which alcohol the the bird that I uh, see, Brian I think wants the G on the bird, but then a lot. But I don't <laughs> no, do that no, to the birds, no, man. For the winter, my partner. <laughs> or no, uh, yes, yeah, so have a bird, uh, a bird opening uh, on on something for for sure. <laughs> you got the the, uh, the the blue background and the same jacket as this, so it, it's good IP. Mm. But I do one for the. For the community, man, if you have a you know a dope bird like that would be awesome. that's something too for you know the community to just see uh, 
right away and you just submitting their own they don't even need to have their own company or brand mm. to be able to do that they can use their ip on on something else and so to bring bring that better it's awesome oh, okay yeah i have a few birds that that'll look very well in in front of gin in gin bottles uh wait how do the community get to submit this is there like a form on the discord or is it on twitter or uh, how does that how does that work you guys already planned that yet? So we, we set up a we wanted to set up a form just to start to see engagement to see just you know the, the project's interest, and we got bombarded. OG, <laughs> so you're gonna set something up within this next week, and people can choose. Okay, I'm you know selecting my OG pigeon cat or vodka a gin you know whiskey and then submit it and then we'll be a bit better by the choice of what you know that person wants their ip implemented on so, you know, everything will be bought everything will be you know whiskey they get to you know how that they get to be on so that's that's something really really cool so we're going to set that up this week oh. uh just base was saying man, and how how excited they were uh, you guys gonna get some cats on some so you, bottles or what? You want the, the pigeon on the gin? Is, is that is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it does. Yeah, I do see birds on gins though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm bird gang all the way, man. But um, what about cats? Are cats gonna be on any bottles or what? Don't tell me vodka. You. You know, I, I, I <laughs> don't tell me about it. I want to get uh, uh, the cats a, a bigger aspect in this. Uh, maybe possibly mm. only have cats. So having maybe like being like only cats can qualify. Making it a cool, you know, you tell how the gutter cat gang does with showing, you know what I mean? They, they might, when you go to these events and you see what the cat holders get that differentiates from, you know, the other incentive to want to get that cat so you know what i mean it's just bringing that across across the board again with us you know to maybe bring some incentive and being like you know we have our own alcohol only cats are, are going to get to to be on this ip so maybe something down the road we're, we're, we're just doing this on our own and we're really not um going by the book we're really just trying to, and we're just rolling with this so any ideas mm. Any type of anything we get a community, to keep building and do this to the best possible way that the community is happy. Those are our buyers. Okay. Are the um, gin gonna ever be infused with anything? Are they gonna have different flavors for? Uh, not gin. I mean vodkas. Are they gonna be infused in any way in the future, or is it gonna be standard vodka? I think. And Possibly down the line, we, we, we can see uh, how we go with ourselves. You know what I mean? We want to make sure that we sell out, you know, then enough and then make that demand high. And then once we get people, you know what I mean? Like, oh, asking, like, you know, definitely be an option we're willing to explore. Possibly, in my opinion, coming up in the summertime, back around, maybe, maybe you know what I mean, a strawberry or something. Mm. Type of, oh, so like nice. A, you know what I mean? A gutter flavor. Be awesome, similar to how, how the um, you know, happy dad did with the banana flavored seltzer, mm, maybe that's a bad yeah, product. yeah, it would be really cool. So, so something, to, something to think about, yes, definitely, definitely, because I could see different um assets being attached to different flavors that I, that'd be pretty cool. See, it kind of goes to uh. But um, if you don't mind, I would like to switch gears just a little bit. Uh, and, and one thing is is really cool. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you, brother. No, I was just saying. What were you saying? You said one thing is really cool. I didn't hear the. I didn't hear that part. So, so one thing down the line uh, that we have. As well. On the the IP picture, the dog is holding a cigar as well. 
So being uh, mm. my partner as well knows people in, in uh, like smoke rooms to be able to pass down the line too and, and you know, tie all that IP in together. So, you know, they're doing it can keep going down if, if, if you play it, you know, the right way and what you're building your own and um, being mm. applied to different aspects uh, that your company uh, can be able to work and have down the line and uh, not anytime soon but you know why that picture has that as well oh nice nice so that's a little alpha of what's to come would you guys ever decide to I mean the alcohol brand would you ever decide to uh, drop an NFT related to the um, liquor brand or is that not in your your roadmap Uh, possibly line, you know what I mean? I mean, if we're really successful, we're in a, you know, the demands there, the, the gutters building with us, it, it's, you know, the demand is there. We count for whole type, mm. type of, you know, collection, uh, to be, to be able to get something like that. But the gutter knows the value of you know, what we bring and, and they, they seen the work we really process as I was in the space is, you know, I, I just, the, as an idea. Yes, so uh, the gutter is is the realist community. So uh, luckily, um, um, you know, vote for them. You can really, you know what I mean. Be honest, and be yourself, and and uh, just bring. Is there? You know, the gutter will take advantage of it and buy. I feel like uh, going to focus on establishing ourselves in an alcohol, uh, as an alcohol brand. You know, Web three liquor um you know that I mean aspect um you know and web three liquors you know what i mean that are on the shelf and and like that we could be take advantage especially having the ip do on the front with the gutter cat gang uh we're not playing around man <laughs> you guys are serious about this huh <laughs> we're ready to go and uh, see how far we can the alcohol. Okay, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate these insights, man. I'll sure. be looking out for that. And unfortunately, this year I probably wouldn't be able to make it to Guttercon. Uh, I didn't. I uh, don't feel like I deserve to go because I didn't make enough this year uh, through NFTs. But next year, most definitely, I'll also try to make it to uh, Miami if they do that in Miami and uh, check you guys out there. Uh, I did meet. You, I saw you in. Um, in NFT NYC though, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we could meet again soon. And I need a whiskey, man. I, I definitely need a whiskey, bro. Uh, thank you again for stopping by to the show. Let me give you a round of applause real quick. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Absolutely, bro. I can help open up. The gutter man and really just you know that plug. love it man i'm just super bullish man for the community he's man oh thank you and just know finest has a bottle of whiskey to the side for you for oh, thank you man so i appreciate, appreciate that have me yeah it's uh you know the, the malibu hills up here is uh but we they tried to yeah here man yeah, they they kind of they they might have won that one, bro. <laughs> the the hills might have won. <laughs> yeah, all right, no no doubt, bro. Uh, I'll check you next time, man. Hopefully, we're under better circumstances because your internet is kind of was a little too a little choppy uh, throughout the interview, so some things went in and out. But hopefully, next time we can set up a date where you know. Everything is, you know, your Wi-Fi is very strong and we could have a better interview. You could talk about this because I can see the excitement. I can see the um, excitement in your voice when you speak about these brands. It's just that, you know, the hills is not it's not in your favor right now. But um, thank you again for coming through, man. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Gutter Chronic. Uh, again, let me give you an air horn. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, make sure to stop by next time you your schedule is clear. Maybe get your partner on here. We could talk to him about the 
uh, all the details and what's to come for Gutter's Finest. I can't wait to oh. try this out, you know. Oh, yeah. We'll do it on video next time. We'll have a little more time. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that'll that be nice. <laughs> that'll be very nice, man. Again, thank you. I'm going to end, uh, end the show here. Uh, again, shout outs to Gutter Chronic for coming through. That's at Lil Chronic. Make sure to go check out Gutter's Finest, those whiskeys, those gins, those vodkas. It's all here using the Gutter IP. Uh, a very, very good use case for IP rights in the NFT space, man. Again, my name is Oryx Kennedy. This is going to have to be the end of the show. Good Goodbye.